Hi, this is Felix from Broken Rules. Um, I'm working on Chasing Aurora, our upcoming Wii U launch title, coming to the Nintendo eShop on launch day. But actually what I want to do, I'm going to try to simulate that by controlling it with the keyboard, which is, which is always a bit tough. But you see the waterfall here on the right, on the right screen, there's a waterfall next to the orange bird. And the thing is that the waterfall can actually push you down and it, ex it can also accelerate, accelerate you down if you're already quite fast so you can get more push into the water. So if I usually, if I drop into the water, it kind of goes like this and if I hit the waterfall at the right speed, which I can go a bit deeper. Um, but the thing is that it's really hard currently to hit the waterfall, mainly because there is um, there's a rock here that prevents you from nicely dropping into it. Oh no, I just accidentally froze the orange bird. So I'm what I'm talking now is on the right side of the, of the screen. Um, actually, let me go into the editor, then we have only one camera. Then we have to go with, let me zoom out a bit. So as you see in the editor, I can just control the camera so it's not following the player anymore. Um, so I'm talking about this rock here that's kind of stops you from nicely dropping into the waterfall and I also think that the waterfall is a bit too short and a bit too tiny so I'm going to try to change this. Um, um, so we use Box2D as our physics engine, which is an amazingly awesome physics engine for 2D. Uh, so I turned on the debug layer of the box to, of our box 2D engine. So now you can see the collision um, layers, collision objects of the of this level. So you see that all the rocks collide, all the rocks here collide. Uh, you also see that the waterfall has a trigger area, which um, triggers the downward push of the of the waterfall. So what I wanted to do is get rid of this thing. It's it's nicely looking, and, and I mean, I know Clemens Push probably put some time and effort into making this look nice. But I, if we put this more into a into a area where you can easily dive into it, then you can use the waterfall better to get rid of these triangles because they're kind of wrong now. But before I make this beautiful I have to try out if it actually helps anything anyway. And I would also like, what I would actually also like to do is move the waterfall a little bit up and make it wider. So I'm going to Take these two points here and move them to the left. So you see all the particle, all, uh, some most of the effects um, scale with the width of the waterfall. Make it a bit wider, even push it a bit more up and push it down. Oh, I've selected too many. Notes. Just wanted to move these two up, and then I want to move these two down. So, and now these effects, like these effects, and the water splash effects, are still wrong. But I'm just going to try out. If this thing actually um, is any better this way, uh, now if I drop down, I can get farther down without flapping, using the acceleration of the waterfall to go down. Could probably even make it a bit stronger, the waterfall. I mean. Not very strong. Let's see. Just 
just a tiny bit. So on the left hand you see our um, uh, our components. So this is a node with different components, and the components do the, all the game logic stuff. So this has a component called water, and it has a force, downward force. I'm just gonna increase this one a bit. And let's see if it feels a bit better. Yeah, push down farther. So if I'm going to try and drop down, yeah, I like it. It gets, it pushes me down even more. I should probably actually do this in all waterfalls in this level at least. Well, that's it for this level. I'm going to clean up. Oh no, I have to clean up all the effects as well. Let's see. We've got. Um, should be probably called something with waterfall. Waterfall clouds. Waterfall clouds. Now oh, here we have the waterfall clouds zero two. We're going to make them just a bit bigger. Oops. I, I make them, I, I missed them. Clouds 2, we're going to stack them into our editor inspector. So I can always, if I, it's useful to stack them because you can always get back to them. So, this looks good. And now we also need the waterfall particles, which is probably waterfall particles 2, if I'm correct. Yes, stack them as well. Waterfall particles too. We're going to move them up here. And also change the size of making them a bit wider. This I'd say looks good. And um that's it, people. Here's the level. Let's hide, let's show all the show all the um, layers again. So you can see it in full glory. Ooh, that's tedious. I actually have shortcuts for those, but I forgot them, so <laughs> doing it like this. Um, okay, yeah, that's the level. Now it looks like this. Let's save it. Goodbye, people. Have fun. And make sure you check out Chasing Aurora once the Wii U hits doors.